You know, McGill does have a, a great chance of, of winning. He could use uh, the Pavar style. Oh! We're going to give up. Oh, his legs are not there. This time, I don't think he's getting up. It's wow. This is the fight we're going to see who Jaime McGill is. Oh, it's 16 in Mexico. We're coming to you live from the heart of Los Angeles, where the boxing buzz is all about Canelo Alvarez's next move. Today, we're breaking down Shane Mosley's insights on the upcoming Canelo vs. Mungia fight and what this could mean for a future blockbuster against David Benavidez. Strap in, because we've got a lot to cover. First up, let's talk about Canelo's immediate challenge, Jamie Mungia. Canelo is a good fighter, I'm a good fighter, I'm also a good fighter for anyone. Jaime is destructor! Mungia is hungry right now, and he wants to uh, beat a guy like Canelo. He has the size now. He's not a, he's not smaller. He's uh, the same size. He's bigger. He filled this to the 168-pound weight and probably could even go to 175. Shane Mosley put it succinctly when he mentioned Munguia's hunger and size as potential threats to Canelo. Indeed, Munguia has grown into the 168 LB weight class, and with youth on his side, he's no small hurdle. Um, so he knows how to fight. He knows what to do. I'm afraid to be, uh, Freddie Roach gave him the right instructions on the things to do, the jabs, the body shots, the different trick shots to do should make a difference. But is this really a challenge for Canelo or just a tune-up fight as we eye the real prize, a showdown with David Benavidez? Mosley hints at Munguia's potential to disrupt Canelo's rhythm with a high volume of punches, much like Golovkin did in their first fight. You know, McGill does have a, a great chance of, of winning. He could use uh, the Paval style, where Paval was throwing a lot of punches, a lot of, kept a lot of punches in his face. Uh, McGill can do that, and maybe that might give um, Canelo some problems. Yet he expresses a bit of skepticism, questioning whether Munguia can truly step up to the plate. Yeah, Canelo's counter punch is really, really uh, sharp. He's really fast. The concern isn't just about Munguia's ability to throw punches, but whether he can dodge Canelo's lethal counterattacks. If Munguia can't get the way of the counterpunch, it might be a hard night for him. But if he can keep him at bay, stay, stay longer like uh, like Bavol did, then maybe it could be a fight for uh, Munguia to win. Now this brings us to the bigger fish, David Benavides. Fans and pundits alike are clamoring for this fight. Why? Because Benavides isn't just another opponent. He's a legitimate threat. Mosley reflects a sentiment many share, wondering why this fight hasn't happened yet. Is Canelo avoiding Benavides, or is he strategically lining up his career moves? Consider this. Benavides brings a combination of size, power, and youth that Canelo hasn't faced in recent years. His aggressive style and high work rate could test Canelo's defenses in ways few have. The anticipation around this potential matchup isn't just about the belts, it's about legacy. Oscar De La Hoya, promoting Mungia, predicts a possible stoppage. However, Mosley's bet seems to lean slightly towards Canelo's experienced counterpunching, especially given the young challenger's limited experience at the top level. This fight against Mungia might indeed be a litmus test for Canelo, assessing whether he still possesses the ferocity required to dominate at super middleweight or if it's time to truly test himself against the likes of Benavidez. Now, let's consider the potential Canelo versus Benavidez. If Canelo gets past Munguia, which many believe he will, the stage is set. The question isn't just about who hits harder or who's faster, it's about who can outsmart the other. Benavidez's relentless pressure against Canelo's tactical genius could deliver one of the most thrilling chess matches in boxing history. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Canelo must first dispatch Munguia convincingly to avoid any doubts about his capabilities. Should he succeed, the call for a fight with Benavidez will grow louder. The boxing world craves this fight, not just for the spectacle, but for the clarity it offers about the current landscape of the super middleweight division. So, what do you think, boxing fans? Is Munguia just a stepping stone for Canelo on his way to a legendary fight with Benavidez? Or could he surprise us all and shake up the super middleweight hierarchy himself? Drop your predictions in the comments below. And remember, whether it's a tune-up or a title fight, in boxing, anything can happen. Thanks for tuning in to today's deep dive into the sweet science of boxing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated with all our latest content. Until next time, keep your guards up and stay ready, because in this sport, the next big fight is always just around the corner.